gazing intently at an alien planet for the very first time. Not an artist's impression, not a simulation, but a real photograph taken from over for light decades away. Today, we dive into the James Webb Space Telescope's most groundbreaking discovery to date, the first ever direct image of Proxima b orbiting Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our Sun, sitting approximately 4.4 light years away. For decades, it has been the focal point of astronomers' dreams because a known rocky exoplanet Proxima Centauri b, also known as Proxima b, was discovered orbiting it. First detected in 2016 using the radial velocity method, Proxima b immediately sparked global excitement. Why? Because it lies within its star's habitable zone, the narrow region where liquid water could exist on its surface. For scientists, Proxima b became an excellent candidate for hosting life. But there was a problem. Despite its relative closeness in cosmic terms, getting a clear image of Proxima b seemed impossible. The planet is tiny compared to its star, and Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf notorious for intense solar flares that mask the faint signals of its planets. For years, astronomers had only indirect proof of Proxima b's existence, slight wobbles in the motion of its parent star, hinting at the gravitational tug of an orbiting world. Artists filled in the blanks with beautiful illustrations of imagined oceans, green landscapes, or barren rocky terrain, but nobody had ever truly seen it. That is, until the James Webb Space Telescope JWST arrived on the scene. Launched in December 2021, Webb was designed to peer into the birth of stars, the earliest galaxies, and the atmospheres of distant exoplanets. Thanks to its infrared capabilities, it could filter out blinding star light and detect the faint glow of orbiting planets. JWST has already stunned the world with breathtaking images, galaxies colliding, stars forming, and even hints of water vapor on planets hundreds of light years away. But scientists always had one ultimate target in mind our nearest potentially habitable neighbor, Proxima b. After years of careful observation and processing finally overcoming the overwhelming brightness of Proxima Centauri Webb has done it. For the first time in human history, we have a direct image of Proxima b. This image, according to NASA and ESA researchers, is unlike anything we've ever seen before. But what exactly does it show? When the James Webb team announced their findings, the astronomy world erupted in excitement. In a coordinated press release, they unveiled the first image that can be directly confirmed as Proxima b. At first glance, it does not resemble the paradise-like Earth that some science fiction writers once imagined. Instead, it reveals a dark, rocky planet, faintly illuminated by the glow of its red dwarf sun. But when scientists enhanced the image using Webb's spectroscopic data, incredible details began to emerge. One. Surface features? While JWST lacks the resolution to map continents and oceans as satellites do with Earth, it captured contrasting patterns of light and dark across the planet's surface. These suggest mountainous terrain, rocky plains, and possibly large liquid reservoirs. Some researchers even believe the data hints at polar ice caps reflecting faint light back into Webb's instruments. 2. Atmosphere Webb's instruments detected a subtle but complex atmosphere surrounding Proxima b. Early analyzes reveal traces of carbon dioxide, water vapor, and possibly methane. None of these guarantee life, but together they represent biomarkers, chemical fingerprints that could support biological processes. 3. Nightside Illumination Perhaps the most surprising finding came when the team processed infrared images of Proxima b's dark side. They noticed tiny but persistent patches of light. This doesn't necessarily mean alien cities or civilizations, but it is unusual enough to spark deep scientific curiosity. Numerous scientists suggest these lights could simply be volcanic activity, glowing rivers of magma, or even a heat signature from a dynamic atmosphere that shifts energy. But others, more cautiously, have emphasized that the uniform patterns resemble something more organized. A well-known theorist, physicist Michio Kaku, commented in an interview, This is our first attempt at capturing what might be called technology signatures. 
While it is far too early to assert the presence of alien cities, the fact remains that these patterns of light are not random. Unlike geological processes, they represent one of the most tantalizing discoveries in astronomy. The image of Proxima b has already become a symbol, a small rocky planet, half shrouded in darkness, faintly glowing under its red sun. Contrary to our own moon or even fiery Venus, Proxima b appears alive with geological activity and possibly more. But beyond the awe of the images, this discovery is significant for another reason. It marks the first time humans have visually confirmed a habitable's own exoplanet in our galactic neighborhood. Exoplanets have long been a source of simulations, data points, and numbers. Proxima b is now more than just a theory it's real. We can see it, and it's right next door in cosmic terms. So, what does this historic image of Proxima b mean to us? Why does it matter that we have captured our first ever direct photo of an alien world just 4.24 light years away? First, it transforms our viewpoint regarding exploration. For centuries, humanity has dreamed of other worlds, of stepping beyond Earth. Proxima b's image is a reminder that these worlds exist, are observable, and are closer than we ever imagined. The dream of interstellar travel feels more possible when you can actually see your destination. Second, it accelerates the search for extraterrestrial life. If Proxima b has an atmosphere, water, and energy sources, then it is a prime candidate for microbial or even intelligent life. As ETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence has already turned radio telescopes toward Proxima Centauri in hopes of detecting fabricated signals. With Webb's new image showing possible nightside illumination, speculation about alien civilizations has reached new heights. Third, it forces us to confront the potential for colonization. If Earth ever becomes uninhabitable due to climate change, nuclear conflict, or other disasters, Proxima b now appears as an alternate Earth. The challenge, of course, is distance. Even though 4.24 light years is close by cosmic standards, current technology would take tens of thousands of years to get there. But with advancements in light sail propulsion, nuclear fusion drives, and even theoretical warp travel, Proxima b stands out as the prime target for humanity's first interstellar mission. In fact, projects like Breakthrough Starshot funded by billionaire Yuri Milner with the late Stephen Hawking's support are already preparing tiny light sail probes that could reach Proxima Centauri in just 20 years. With Webb's image confirming Proxima b's reality, such missions are no longer science fiction. They are necessary steps toward answering the greatest question of all, are we alone? Yet there is also a warning. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star, notorious for violent solar flares. These eruptions could strip Proxima b's atmosphere, making life difficult or even impossible. If life exists there, it may look nothing like what we know. Perhaps it survives underground, shielded from radiation, or based on entirely different biochemistry. The best way Michio Kaku put it was, this is the beginning of a new era in astronomy. For the first time, we're not just imagining alien worlds, we're observing them. Proxima b is a milestone. The issue is no longer whether or not life exists beyond Earth, the question is when we will locate it. The very first image of Proxima b is more than just a scientific breakthrough. It is a cultural turning point. Much like the famous Apollo 8 photograph of Earth made humanity see our own planet in a new light, this picture makes us see the cosmos differently. Suddenly, the universe no longer feels empty. The distance between the stars seems just a little less vast. 